Hi there. In this video, we're going to do a quick run through on how to move from Buildbox Engine to Unity Engine. So there is different reasons for why you would do that. Either you've created a game and now the publisher is asking you to recreate it in Unity because that's what they use. Or you started to build out your game and you hit the roadblock. Some things are not possible in Buildbox. Maybe you're experiencing some performance problems on phone. Or maybe you were using a free license and the new license update that Buildbox did don't work for you. So for whatever reason, you're trying to convert from Buildbox to Unity. We're going to do a quick run through understanding Unity for Buildbox users. And if you're interested in us making more videos on Unity, write that in the comments and let's start with Unity. We're not going to go through details of installing Unity. Right now, when you download Unity and install it, you will install the Unity Hub. And from the Unity Hub, that's where you go to installs and you can click add and choose which version you want to install on your computer. And when you select the version that you want to install, when you click next, you get all these options available and you can select the options that you want to be installed with your version. After you have one version of Unity installed, you're ready to start making projects. So for that, we can go to projects and then click new or click the drop down to select the specific version of Unity to use in your new project. So we already created a project. We call it first game and we can launch it. And when we launch our project, this is the default view that you get. So this view that we see right now is similar to the view that we have in Buildbox called the world workspace. So on the left, we have what's called a hierarchy. And in Buildbox, it's called an outliner. In the middle, we have the scene editor, and that's what we have in Buildbox too. And on the right side, we have the inspector, and Buildbox calls it options. If we select any objects in our hierarchy, we can see all the options in the inspector. At the bottom, we have the place where all our assets will be. And it's similar to the asset panel that we have in Buildbox. Now let's compare some of the terms that are used in Buildbox and what is the equivalent in Unity. In Buildbox, if we go to Mind Map, we use what is called the worlds. In Unity, an equivalent of that will be actually scenes. And in our assets, we have the scene folder and inside we have one scene here. We can always go to File and Create New Scene and that will create a fresh scene or a world as we know it in Buildbox. Let's open up the sample scene back. And now let's take a look at the next thing. If we go to 2D World in Buildbox, at the bottom we have what's called the scenes. And in Unity, if you want to create the same effect as the scenes in Buildbox, you would use a game object. And a game object is just anything that is inside the scene. So if you want to create an empty game object, you can just right click and select Create Empty. And that will create an empty game object. Once you have a game object, we can go ahead and rename it and let's call it start. And we can start adding assets into this game object. And that would be similar to the scenes that we have in Buildbox. To add images or sprites to Unity, all you do is just select some image that you want to add and just drop it into your scene. And we can see that it's just appeared. And this was a circle PNG that we just dropped in. Once we drop this in, we can see that that circle just appeared in our hierarchy and it's circle. And also we can see that it was added to our assets. And to keep your assets organized, you can create a folder by right clicking create folder and name it sprites and move that circle into sprites. And now we can find that circle in sprites. Now, if we take a look at the hierarchy, we can see that our circle is on the same level as start game object and the main camera. And if you want the circle to be in your start scene, you can select the circle and drop it on the start scene. And now it's in our start scene. To see how the game looks, you can always select the main camera and we can see a small preview of the camera view. Or we can go at the tabs right here and select game and we can see the camera position. To start playing the game, we can use the play button at the top and when we click play, we can see that it's in a play mode right now, but there's nothing happening because we haven't added any logic to it. And we can stop by clicking the play button. Now let's add some logic to our circle. In Buildbox, we use nodes to add logic for our assets. And those nodes are just scripts that you visually connect in the editor. So in Unity, 
we created some nodes and here's our nodes folder that we created and we just have some example nodes here we have the move node the jump node if collide camera follow add point and keyboard node and they're just scripts that you can add to your asset there's several ways you can add them so one of the ways you can select a script and then drag it on the asset you want to add either in the hierarchy or you can drag and drop it in the scene view and once you do that if you select the circle you can see that we just added a move script right here if we want to remove that script at any point we can click this option icon and then we can select a remove component once we do that the script is no longer there another way you can add it is by using the add component and there's a lot of components that unity comes with and you can just start typing the component that you're looking for so we'll try to find move and there's our move component click enter and we just added that move script back the move script has speed option so let's set speed of x to 5 and click play and now you can see that our circle is moving so that's a way you can use unity with the knowledge that you have of buildbox this is just a small sample of nodes that we created if you want us to create more nodes and to do some more demonstration on how to use them write in the comments and now we're going to add some more things to our scene so let's add a square and let's get our main camera to follow our circle we'll add our node the camera follow that we created and we'll set the force only to follow in the x direction so set zero for the other axis and the other option that we have is the follow object and you need to specify which object you want to follow so we want to follow the circle so let's drop the circle in and let's click preview now you can see the camera following our circle like always if you found this video helpful click on the like button if you want to see us make more videos on unity write in the comments below if you're not subscribed to our channel subscribe and until next time